what's going on guys JSGC football here we're on for an early start it does mean away days as we're going to be heading to Middlesbrough to the Riverside Stadium to watch Middlesbrough take on my brother's team Aaron uh, who supports Preston North End now today is a very special day it's Gentry Day it's our third consecutive Gentry Day after doing West Brom in 2019 and doing Barnsley away last year it's Middlesbrough away this year so we do have the bowler hat at the ready. But, uh, we'll go, go and pick Aaron up and then we'll take you through our journey. Remember, if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe. We're nearly on a thousand subscribers, so if we can have a big push towards that, then that would be great. Leave a thumbs up as well if you are enjoying the video and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So, we'll see you in the car with information on Middlesbrough. Let's go. First, we're going to check the car over. It's all looking good. Well here it is, it's the big do, it is Middlesbrough away, I've been looking forward to this day for a long time, absolutely quality, I just love playing away, absolutely fantastic. So if you don't know, it is Preston's at Gentry Day, it's our selective day that we have, we have a get together every year to celebrate the Preston fans that have passed away in the last year, and it's a good do and it's a good way to remember the Preston fans that have passed away in the past year. So what it is with the Gentry High, what Alan Ball coined, Preston North End fans are the Gentry and that's where it all stems from. So picking away day every year. So today is Middlesbrough. So we will see what Middlesbrough can bring to the table. I'm excited as I will show you ladies and gentlemen around Middlesbrough what it has to offer and it's away day. So can't wait to get there, can't wait to get stuck in and show you the landmarks. It's got the transport bridge as well, Riverside itself. One thing I want to try is the Scran, as I've heard all about it, it's the famous apartment. So it's a chicken parmesan and I cannot wait to see In the bone In the bone But if I don't get that in the riverside It's been promised it is in the riverside But if I don't I promise you I will take you to the takeaway I will be having a parmo Me and Jess GC well, Middlesbrough fans, uh, have, it's going to be a big deal because they bring 25,000 fans. So they're averaging they're in really, really hot form at the minute as well. As they're uh, on the tails of Sheffield United. As they're in dire straits off the pitch, but on the pitch they're doing all right. So the seven points behind, and uh, you've got the league's top goal scoring, 23 goals, it's Juba Agpom. And also a uh, familiar name for Preston fans, it makes me very sad as we will see the return of Cameron Archer. So you got two quality strikers are right there off the bat also you got Lena Han Zach Stephenson Man City Marcus Falls as well absolute quality winger so they've got plenty of quality it's going to be a tough away day for Preston so let's we'll see what we can bring to the table we've been in form ourselves as we're unbeaten in seven we're on a roll as well I'll say it ever so slightly maybe a secret little playoff push but we won't mention the P word at all as today is going to be one of the toughest away days of the entire campaign. But I can't wait to get stuck into it. It's Middlesbrough fans, but absolute quality at Deepdale. And I can't wait to see what the atmosphere is like at Riverside. So I will see you guys in Middlesbrough. Also, I'll give a special thanks to Josh GC. He is the designated driver. So, Josh GC, what would you like to say? Um, it's nice to be heading up north. It is. It's Every nice time we're in the car, we're always heading south. Always. So it's nice to be heading north. If you are new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Just GC Footballs. It does have the channel bro. Darlington Arena, so there it is. There's the abandoned stadium. Look at the size of that thing. It's just come to me there, just hit me right there. A old stadium. That's what the white elephant is. Absolutely back up to the club. I think I will say it's nice to hit civilization <laughs> after an hour and a half before wow. seeing it, yeah. 
So just hit you done in Millsbridge just out of nowhere after a load of road and just no nothing there civilization and finally we're in Middlesbrough. So we'll just park up and I will see you guys in Middlesbrough for Gentry Day. Riverside. up now which sometimes is the most difficult part for me <laughs> but no repeats today <laughs> <laughs> i've not parked up yet oh yeah let's speak to you so thank you just gc here in one piece thank you no problem i parked up so luton it's not like luton today <laughs> well here here we are so i will show you now around middlesbrough as we'll go into middlesbrough itself and see what it has to offer he's ready to drone it and if all goes well It'll have been our beginning shot of the video. Hello, the resolution. Thank you. So that's the Transporter Bridge, one of the landmarks that they've got in Middlesbrough. You've got the clock tower just over there. I'll show you in a second. You've got the railway station just over there. Now, we did have this booked on the trains, train strikes. I hate them so much. We had to do this in the car. We had a top class away day planned on the train, not to be. We had to come in the car. I'm designated driver. Aaron's going to uh, go and enjoy some of the uh, pubs and bars and stuff. Uh, that is available in Middlesbrough, so we're going to go and take you around that and uh, see what we get up to for the rest of the day. Transporter bridge just there. Clock tower just sticking out over there. There you can see Middlesbrough train station and just further along there, uh, we're blocked by a building unfortunately just over there to have a clear view of the riverside, but we did pick it up on the drone footage. about three pound Guinnesses. Very happy, you just can't be Weatherspoons, can you? May get his criticism, but three quid a pound for Guinness, no. Can't go wrong. A belated St Paddy's Day Guinness. How is your pint? Three pound pint? It's alright, actually. Our well, location looks a little bit different. Why is that? <laughs> so think of it in between us. Where Neil and their gang, they're in the Black Bull. In the Black Horse. Where are we? Black Bull. Right, so we're in the wrong pub. Let's go. Are we in the wrong pub? We're in the Resolutions Weatherspoons. Where were we? In the Discovery. We were in the wrong pub. And waiting in the, like in here to, to realise something's wrong. Someone should clear it says a lot of TV. We're watching sports. Weatherspoons never have TV on. It should have clicked then. But we're yeah. actually in the wrong pub, but now we're in the right pub. <laughs> Where are we? So guys, we're in the Twisted Lip. It's a little bit of a recommendation, this one. So I thought I'd visit it, see what it's about. And this is the British Pig a Strawberry Cider. So you think that there's going to be shampoo? Oh yeah, it's good. It's good for If you like this idea, like that, it's quite sweet and it's tasty. It's very sweet. I like it. But Twisted Lip, just to know it's for away fans, to do let away fans in, so I'd recommend it. It's on my hit list. Yeah, I'd give it a solid 8.1 out of 10. Can you 
So guys, I'm on the Belgian pills at the minute, so 4.2% it tastes very nice. So it's cost us with the non-alcoholic cider, £7.90. Not bad. But if you like your pills, mate, you'll like this, it's Belgian pills and it can't go wrong. Not bad. Well, I'd give it a solid, so my rating is 7.8 and we are in the bottle note, so we're in the bottle note, but it is a cocktail bar as well, so you can ask for a cocktail as well. Have a cheeky little baby Guinness, I think. Funny you said yesterday. Yeah, it is. Be rude not to. Baby Guinness. Yeah, see you in North End. I'll say Devil's Advocate to my first call. So as you can see guys, we are in the Infant Hercules. So this is a coin phrased by William at Gladstone. It goes back to 1862. So what it was is the birthplace of Middlesbrough, big industrial revolution, and it showed you the potential of uh, Middlesbrough. That's why it refers to the Infant Hercules, the strength of the economy back at the time. So this pub is named after it's a micro pub. So if you like your micro beer or your craft ales, this is the place to be. So I'm on the milk stout, and I can't wait to try it. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Go on then, give it a rating. There's only one we win one cup, and we win it on the 29th of February. That's beautiful. Plenty of flavour kicking through. It's not like your normal Guinness. You can taste that milkiness coming through the stout. It's absolutely beautiful. I might even like it better than, uh, than Guinness. Ooh. It's probably one of the nicest styles I've had. That is really, really interesting. Out of ten, then? Oh, that's really, really nice. I like it so much. Eight point five out of ten. Top quality. As it's cost us five pound forty, so for full pint of uh, so for full pint of stout. I can't remember the full name of it. Something milky, yeah. something milky. And uh, half a pint of uh, aspal cider for Joe. My allowance. Yeah. So the devil's advocate, without the bottle heart, I think you could get it. It is a home fans, but I think you could get it if we didn't have like a specific... We weren't gentry day and we weren't yeah. standing out, we'd be able to get in, I reckon. I think you'd be able to walk in. Yeah. But because we've got a bottle of hearts, they clocked on. Yeah. But I'm not too bothered. It's just taken me 20 minutes, so I guess it's 20 minutes towards the... To go to towards the room side now and uh, get out yeah. for a show we want. Yeah. But that is a really nice pint and I really, really enjoy Bush so far. I find them very friendly, I find them very welcoming and I just love Borough. I hope the Riverside lives up to it, especially with the parma. I can't wait to try the food, it's the chicken parmesan. I just can't wait to try that. My cute little glass of Aspel. Oh, that is cute. Half a pint. Very sweet, very nice. Your first alcohol beverage of the day, isn't it, as well? 8.2 out of 10. Very nice. The Kirby Astral K is absolutely quality cider. One of, the, one of my favourites. One of my favourites. Yeah, yeah, special way on the way there, but it is a crisp cider. I can't recommend it enough. Proper Suffolk cider. Useful. Mmm. Well, that guys is Middlesbrough away as so our next one will be Riverside. the Riverside itself. So, go, go see the, the stadium, see yeah. what's there. Let's go. <laughs> Do have a fan zone, looks like it's home end only. There it is. As you can see how close it is, transport bridge, you got the clock tower. And then if it just transfer, here we are. The Riverside Stadium. Fantastic. So if it, if you know anything about football starting, it's to do with the high school disasters so and modernised football. Moving from Erson Park to this absolute beauty of a stadium. And here is just just you see you Mesra. You have been just GC'd. 
job done. And just to mention about the friendliness of the Middlesbrough people, it's been an absolute class away day. Mm -hmm. I just wish I had more time in Middlesbrough, as the people have been absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. I don't think it beat it as a away day. The quality booze, quality away day and day out, and the welcoming. friendliness and the welcoming of other people, especially Gentry Day, absolutely welcome, fantastic. Barnsley, Middlesbrough, yeah. South Yorkshire Police could learn something from this. That's where we was last year. 30 minutes to go. Let's go in. But for Middlesbrough fans, I tilt my hat to you. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I hope you get to Premier League, I really do. Friendly enough, Aaron. Friendly enough. Yeah, just the, the nicest fans I've ever met at Middlesbrough. Absolute quality. See how we approach the second half. First 15 minutes, I'm quite happy here. Especially with nil nil. in food and drink, atmosphere and value for money. And we like unique things. And this, and this is one of them. It's unique to Middlesbrough. Okay. So if you're ever in Middlesbrough. Up the North End. Hey, up the North End, come on mate. What are you scanning into? So this is Parmo. Hey? It's a Middlesbrough chicken parmesan. Yeah? Uh, Fucking enjoy it. There you go. Up the North End, oh, come on son. I was in taste. Oh. 
They've got that's absolutely delicious. They've got a good selection of alcohol, and it is being served. We're not on it today. It's a drive. <laughs> Aaron's taking it easy, but they do. They've got some good stuff. <laughs> Go on then, rate it. Check out their breakfast, but it's cheese as well. And there's another ingredient, but it's just really, really nice. I cost it nine out of ten. It's beautiful. Okay. The white jar. Up the whites, up the whites. Come on. The bear is Palmo. What did you just say?
We made it to the next day. Middlesbrough away. Class day. Class away day, isn't it? So, we'll rate our experience. Firstly, we've already done food and drink inside the stadium. Alcohol on sale, always a good sign. Uh, unique food in there, again. It is, try the sign. Palmo. £4.90. £4.90. Uh, so, yeah, food and drink, uh, we're going to give it an 8.5 .5 out of 10. Um, so, next up, atmosphere. I don't know if there's anything else for me to add other than top class. Top class. PNE fans are 4 0 down, dancing, singing, and having a good time on their gentry day. Atmosphere from the PNE fans, the just under 1,700 fans that went, was top class. And the Middlesbrough fans made a lot of noise as well. Very respectful throughout the game too. The atmosphere, probably the best atmosphere of any away match that We've I've had so ever far, been yeah. to so far. Um, so, I don't know about you, but I'm just going straight in with a 10 out of 10 for atmosphere. 10 out of 10, yeah, for both sets topped. of fans as well. I was going to say, PNA fans, what I just want to say, that's probably one of the best away atmospheres we've ever had. Mm -hmm. As it made a lot of noise, so full credit to the PNE gentry. It's a full enjoy, I'm sure we did as well, and Middlesbrough. What would have been really interesting is the carnage if you'd gone ahead in that game. Oh, it would just been out of this world if we could have got a goal and sort of leave, but some things are never meant to be. Not meant to be, but topped up atmosphere, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Value for money. Uh, Middlesbrough as a whole, three pound pints in Weatherspoons. I saw Even one cheaper, pint. Yeah, one pound 29. One pound 29. I saw a pint in there. Um, everywhere that we went to, each of the pubs and the bars, the micro pubs, never that expensive there. No. So in terms of value for money for going around and out and about, uh, uh, and most places welcoming uh, away fans as well in the town centre with affordable prices uh, makes that very uh, affordable. The problem that we've had here is train strikes, because I'm sure you'd have probably brought more if there uh, uh, wasn't train strikes. Probably would have sold it out with two and a half, but it's not meant to be. It's came under 500 shows, got to give an allocation 2,200. But I still think it's very good effort without any trains going up there, so it had to be coaches or cars. Yeah, with no trains. And I think the reason that it's not sold more ticket is price. down to the ticket price. Which, that's all the thing that lets Borough down. Which, which is what's going to linger into the value uh, for money, because the charging £31, £31 for an away ticket is more expensive than any Premier League away ticket. Uh, I don't know about you, yeah. but it bugs me. You've got QPR coming up, yeah. £36. Why? It bugs me so much. Uh, Watford did it right a few weeks yeah, 20 back. Quid. £20, 20 is plenty. Don't need to be charging anymore. So if I had a little nitpick at Middlesbrough, £31 for an away ticket um, bugs me ever so slightly. But that's, you know, make it a couple of quid cheaper. Uh, and I'd be giving value for money uh, a very high rating as well. I think for, for the ticket price, uh, so what we're looking at, £62 for two tickets, fuel yeah. cost £40, so we're already at a spend of over £100. Uh, I think food and drink total yesterday came to just short of 50 quid that we spent uh, as well. Uh, along with your uh, pin badge was three pound fifty. There was a program was three quid. was three quid as well. Um, not the cheapest, but certainly not the most expensive away day that we've had either. Um, so I, th I think value for money. Uh, we got to see a top atmosphere, a new ground, and a really friendly, welcoming bunch uh, from Middlesbrough as well. Friendly made it, it, it made yeah. it such a good experience for us. Uh, so I think for my value for money personally, I think I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. What are you giving it, Aaron? I'd go give it eight. An eight. So we'll split it halfway. A seven and a half out of ten, taking it to a grand total, if my maths is right, of twenty six out of thirty. Rating of I think that's eight point six six out of ten, and that is our highest okay. ever rated away day. Fully, fully enjoyed it. Top class. If you get a chance to go to Middlesbrough or away, go and check it out. PNE fans yesterday, yeah. sensational. Middlesbrough fans yesterday, the friendliest, most welcoming bunch that we've ever come across. And a top class atmosphere from them as well. Yeah. I think I speak on behalf of 
the channel here and saying we're wishing Middlesbrough the very best of luck as they push forward to try and reach the Premier League uh, come the end of the season. I do have us enjoying the best away fans uh, that we've had at Deep Dell this season as well. Like yeah. I'm just saying that and they were, they made a lot of noise so far. Yeah, and um, want to thank Middlesbrough for being warm, welcoming yeah. uh, and being a brilliant host for Preston North End's yeah. Gentry Day yeah. for 2023. The benchmark's been set very high for 2024. And last disclaimer, PNE fans had a vote on what they wanted their Gentry Day to be this year. And I didn't vote for Middlesbrough. I did. But Aaron did. And Middlesbrough has turned out to be... I was wrong. I was wrong. It's turned out to be absolutely top class. I think you can maybe change the score of the expense. Car parking, £2.50 for 10 hours. £2.30. £2.30. £2.30 for parking for 10 hours. Took me a little while to get out of the car park yesterday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, can't go wrong with that. Um, so yeah, affordable, top class, yeah. great atmosphere. Just a shame about the result. But for any way fans, you can go around Middlesbrough as a disclaimer. If you want to go around the pubs in Middlesbrough, it's going to send them more than welcome yep. as well. So you can explore Middlesbrough itself. So thank you for watching. We will be back. Two weeks time for the match against Blackpool. Big, big game. So if you're new around here, make sure you've subscribed and check that out in a couple of weeks time. We will be back again next week with another video as well as our busy football schedule uh, does continue with our non-league series returning uh, next week with our biggest club in non-league. Yeah. We've been to Wrexham. We've been Beats to Oldham, Oldham Athletic. This time we're going to be venturing onto Chesterfield yeah. next week for uh, their game to check out what's going on there. So you've got that to look forward to. We've got many more games between now and the end of the season too. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope everyone uh, is safe and well. We've been Jason and Aaron from JSGC Football. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>